Welcome back, RPM Pace Car Race Car fans. Here we are with the Harlan Sharp Rockers. We're going to set them up right after our, our fire up. We've got we've got uh, heat into the engine now. We're, we got it up to around 190. We are now setting our valve train hot. Uh, this camshaft is a solid roller design, so it does need a lash or a clearance between the actual rocker and the valve tip. Comp cams tells us that we want 26 and 28. So 26 on the intake and 28 on the exhaust. So how I set up each individual rocker clearance is I rotate the engine and we want to set the intake when the exhaust just starts to move. This is our exhaust. So we're going to wait till that just starts to move. We've come off of the base circle of the camshaft on the exhaust. We're now going to set the intake. So we'll set our intake to our 26 just by getting our feeler gauge underneath between the roller tip and the valve tip. We wait till we get a little bit of friction. We run our nut down to it, the inside of the nut, and then we just back off on our hex and then jam the two together and we should have a nice pull between a little bit of friction in that lash area. Now we'll set the exhaust and how we set the exhaust is we'll roll it over till we get to maximum lift on the intake and just about down on the base circle of the intake and we can now set the lash on our exhaust. See we're far way away there. We'll loosen off inside lock. Set our feeler gauge in. Look for a little bit of friction. Run our lock nut down. Back it off a little bit on the hex. Jam the two together. And there we go. We've got a good little bit of friction. You know we're set at about 28. That's it. If you look over to the other side, you can see Scotty's already installed the stud girdle supplied by Harlan Sharp as well. Keeps everything nice and aligned at higher RPM. So we've got no, no movement whatsoever. Thanks for watching. See you later.